Welcome to Odyssey. This is your host, Skull Maurice, and with me is Alex Cage. Alex Cage, here I am. Hello. And we were supposed to finish the game in the previous episode, but suddenly death happened and... <laughs> Plenty of deaths. And yeah. unfortunately, not of our enemies. Yeah, that's true. And I just realized I think I have a key, which I shouldn't have. Do you see that? The... Uh, kicked uh, square one, this one. Can you see it? The yeah. One. What about it? Well, uh, there was one. Uh, we have collected one so far. Uh, key of this type. And as far as I remember, we didn't collect the second one because we we used the first one on the on the gate near the entrance to the castle. I don't know if you remember. So I think uh, we got the key. Somehow loading of the safe made it duplicate, or or I just failed to notice we collected it again. Which might be the case too. I'm kind of getting lost at times with the... What, what key was where and where it's supposed to be used. Yeah, it's not really important anyway. Okay, so there's nothing here. So what's left for us is to go and penetrate the rest of the castle. I mean delve into the castle. Yes, that's what I meant. Don't judge me! Mm. <laughs> <laughs> As usual, watch out for the woman. <laughs> Hello, yes. my friend! What are you doing here? I have a great promotion for you. Ten sword hits for one arrow. Three sword! Free sword only today. Free death. Free death. Hello. Screw you. Okay. Screw you. Big door. Screw you. Okay. I don't remember what was here. Mm, if there was anything at the bottom. Yeah. Uh, there was yeah, locked something. door and. A bowman. No. No. Is this the uh, royal distillery? <laughs> Could be. It's I don't know. It's just the the first thing I thought of. Yeah, it kind of looks like that. They're, 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 they're ev they even have fresh water. <laughs> you know the wells. <laughs> da, da, da. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, I think the difference here is that each key just allows you to open as many doors as you wish. Ah, yeah, because uh, previously the the key was always taken away once you used it. Okay. Yeah. So. And that might be the difference uh, in the in the castle. I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Okay, Oops. more dungeons. Okay, this reminds me of the castle in Mario Bros. The one where you had to choose the correct corridor. Ah, okay. Because yeah. otherwise it would loop, but I yeah. don't expect anything like this here. Yeah. Let's roll. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Commands destruction. I can jump. Okay, I did it. Let's turn to a bat so we can be more easily killed by bowmen. I don't think there are any bowmen in the dungeons. I, I don't care what you think. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. I'm being in. Too late. I'm. I'm leaving. Okay. Yes, finally, I'm alone. Uh, then uh, again, maybe. <laughs> let's let's not. Let's not. <laughs> oh, okay. That's new. I guess we can explore the 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 top. Yeah. I'm flying a like a bird. Actually, you are a bird. Hmm, I failed to notice that. <laughs> Going okay, up. Okay, that's a long way up. Up and away. This castle is big. Yeah. We might need another <laughs> episode even. <laughs> that is that is possible. Oh, hey, there's an opening there. Yep. Uh, let's go to the right. As a What's little tiny spider. What's on the spider. bottom? Hmm? What's on the bottom? Uh, 
Okay. Yeah. From what I remember, <clears throat> nothing special. And I remember uh, one. Ah, yep. Yeah, but I guess we should show that. Because we did a bit of exploring. Yeah, but I'm guessing we would be, we would get back here anyway in the future, so... I just wanted to show what's here on the second pass through this part of the castle. Okay, it's a good moment to take a drink. What do we have here? <clears throat> nothing! Some stars. A bucket of nothing! <laughs> uh, a three for the bird, because it would be too difficult to name it an eagle or something which makes sense. Nope, it's a bird. Bon bonus points for, for uh, if you know the <laughs> reference. <laughs> But it's probably too <laughs> obscure. <laughs> and yes, you can fly in tight spots. <laughs> okay, that's some using. And it's way faster. And okay, we got an extra, an extra life for our <laughs> discovery. We should we should get another few just for just for the style. <laughs> But I don't think you can do that with the small bird. I think that will. You, yep, you can. The game doesn't allow that. Yep, I can't turn into the small bird. <laughs> can I do it the other way? No, I can't. I'm going to die if I don't stop. Because <laughs> spiders. <laughs> okay, that, that was great. That was amusing. <laughs> okay, Bowman warning. <laughs> He's peeing with his arrows. <laughs> yeah, they kind of have quite a high rate of fire. <laughs> no! <laughs> Bird, what, what are you doing? Stop! Okay. Crap. Okay. Maybe let's just do it the, the normal way. <laughs> we'll just walk. Yep. On our spider legs. I have got a friend! Come on! Come on! Come with me! No, don't go back! Uh, You're lost for us. Leave him! Okay. Leave him, we don't have time. If we don't have time to save our friends, what are we? Aren't we monsters this way? Nah. Okay, still nothing here. Uh, there wasn't anything interesting in that part of the dungeon, or where was there something? Okay, I'm Extra going... life! You know, I mean, when... <laughs> the, the place where we... Try not to die, try not to die! Okay. I mean, the doorway here. Was there anything interesting here? Uh, not really. <laughs> no. Guess back to the dungeon. <clears throat> Yeah, we have explored it fully. Yes, we did. So let's turn into a grasshopper and jump up <coughs> and continue our exploration. Stairways and boulders. Yeah. yeah, the best part of every dungeon. Opening I'm going doors? To open everything. <laughs> open all the doors. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure we need to go to the top, so. Okay. Hey, wait, wait a sec. Ah, no. We can't even check the stained glass too well because someone is firing arrows at us. Crap, crap, crap! I was dead. Rock okay. mode evacuation. And as um, usual, spiders. Are we getting back to the beginning, or not? Uh, it might be a good idea, actually. I guess not. Mm. Spooky red flame. 
Okay, the final key, and with that we should be able to open the big gate to the to the bus. The if I remember correctly. Okay, there's something up there. I'm going to turn into a bird. Oh, it's just. A... Hello, oh. dude. How are you doing? We are poor okay. soul. Having fun. Okay, take care. Just hanging around. Just having my bones picked clean. You know the usual. Okay, I don't understand one thing in this game. I I turn into I turn into the rock, right? Yep. Uh, above the enemy, and he still pushes me in the wrong direction. Um. You, you kind of it kind of always makes you bounce in the direction of the pit. It's unfair. <laughs> Maybe it was coded that way. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> yeah, the, I I think that's a, that's a common problem, like with games when the the uh, when you're pushed back on on damage, it kind of it it feels like it always pushes you not in the way you you like, yeah. always towards pits or enemies, everything. Yeah, yeah that's true. Sorry, dude. Uh, uh, squash the guy. Okay, more rocks. It kinda reminded me of a game my brother made some long time ago. It was called Urbagility. And there were a couple of monsters in that a couple of enemies in that game which fired their bullets randomly in random direction. And even though it was random, it almost always fired in the way <laughs> to hit you. I this was weird. Kinda creepy and spooky at the times. But that's how it worked. And I know it was random because I've seen the, the source code of the game. Maybe the maybe Skynet is already here, you know. Maybe. Ah That was close. <laughs> that was a goodbye arrow. Yeah. Oh save. Okay, we have about ten minutes to kill the boss and finish the game. So let's try to do that. It it still feels like we didn't go through the whole castle, or maybe it's yeah. Just but me. the only thing that we can really find find is an extra life, and hopefully yeah, we I won't know, need it. I, know. I think this game kind of got a bit tiring. Yeah, it's a good game, but enough is enough. <clears throat> and with all those bowmen here, it's kind of. It gets boring. I guess this was done on on purpose. Well, maybe we can't open this door. Yeah. Um. Okay, I guess. What about the door on the other side? Was there? I, I think there was, and it was a small door. Okay. Not the big gate. Okay, let's take a look then. <clears throat> Worst case, we need to explore a bit more. Check, check, check. More bowman. Yeah, you're right. Uh, you're right, and I'm almost dead. It's okay, we have lives to spare. Mm, yeah. There are two guys on the uh, ledger, two ledgers on top. This game is bad, and it should feel bad. <laughs> um, didn't you say that it's a pretty good game, like, two minutes <gasps> ago, or one? <laughs> <laughs> That was in the past. <laughs> we are talking about the presence here. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> but, so yeah, since we're uh, getting close to the end, what are your thoughts? Oh, uh, that's a good. Let's wait with the thoughts uh, until we finish the game, maybe. Okay. <clears throat> because if things can change in the last minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I used to like this game, but not anymore. But then I took an arrow to a knee. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And uh, yeah, and he. This is the boss, and he turns you into a squirrel. So it's kind of okay. So now, because you have seen that right now, I can tell you, it's irritating because he turns you into a squirrel and there are the bowmen around and you can't kill the bowmen uh, <clears throat> easily and when you're a squirrel one arrow 
takes like uh, half of your health, so it's it sucks generally. Final boss sucks in this game. Okay, yeah, I, I said it. I feel better. How how is he? Uh, how are we supposed to find him? Okay. That's a good question. Uh... Hmm, the king okay. has been shot by the guard. Guard, okay. Okay, so <laughs> we actually have to use the bowman, I think. Come on, turn into the hero. Uh, I think I damaged him. I guess that's what happened. I hit him. Okay, so... I thought that he had his own HP and you had to hit him like 10 times, but... I don't know. Well, I guess you have to... Put, putting your sword through a guy's head, <laughs> time is enough. Okay, change change the disc. Insert the floppy. Okay. Congratulations! You have completed Odyssey, and your wizard is safe. My a wizard. millet and Mullender is production, published by Audiogenic Software, Ltd. Programming, graphics, Just, sound design, concept, and map design. Two people. Just two guys. Unconscious yeah. mind. And their wizard. <laughs> Peter One. Thank you, Peter One, for a place to live and lots of nice food. Maybe it's a Peter I. <laughs> Rock Monsters provided by Gilbert's Rock Emporium. Green Man Care of Putty People Incorporated. Baby Pebbles from the Stone House. Small Tree by Rose. Support and Telephony by Morag and Claire. <laughs> so that's the whole game. That's Odyssey. Let's see if there's anything more to the end credits. Mm, fireworks! Where are fireworks? Wait, wait, wait. Wait for it. The cursor. And I'm not sure you can see it, but I'm doing... I can. Okay. Congratulations again. Okay. Okay. I understand now. Thank you. Let's speed up. Um, I don't think there's anything more. So I guess we can just use, use this nice background. And... <laughs> Say a few things about the game. Um, I guess you should say something since since you played it. Uh, for me, I just uh... wait a second. I'm having some trouble with. Or is it from okay. Your, from your side. I'm seeing the the noise that you hear when a telephone is uh, ringing next to a. Uh, ah, yeah, I know. Okay, I think it stopped, so we can continue. Uh, all right, so a couple couple of thoughts from me. Mm. So yeah, as I have already said before, uh, I really like Odyssey. It's a fun game. It's kind of like Metroidvania. In my memory, there was a bit more exploration and getting new abilities and going to the new islands, but I guess I was wrong. So it's <coughs> only... You were younger. Yeah. Well, it, it was seven years or something. And more Five naive. Years. Yeah. So that might explain my bad memory. Mm. As I mentioned, my most favorite island is the Gyps, the one with the little green people collecting the gold and the wood. And I think that's the best, the best island in the whole game. The final, final island kind of sucks. All of the bowmen it makes things boring and repetitive, to be honest. <laughs> the final boss is also not amusing. But generally, I like this game. Uh, I'm happy to have played it. Again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was interesting for me as well because yeah, I, I don't know many 
Uh, I know almost none, to be honest, Amiga games. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm an uh, IBM PC guy, MS-DOS guy. Uh, so uh, it was it was really cool to 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 see, mm -hmm. and yeah, I I like to I like really like the ideas the the uh, some of the, um, the visual design, mm -hmm. but I, well I didn't play it, but from from uh, from what I've seen it seemed like uh, some parts could be a bit less annoying and some parts <laughs> could be a bit more polished. Yeah, I think this game would greatly benefit from a third third person in the team, someone who would uh, give, I don't know, more ideas maybe. I don't know, hard to tell me, really. It's This game feels like they wanted to do more, uh, but they just didn't. And also from what I, what, from what I've, I have read on the internet, at the beginning it was supposed to be a Mario clone. Oh, okay. So... <laughs> So they kind of went, kind of went in a different direction, and maybe they didn't go all the way. I don't know. But but compared to a, to a Mario clone idea, they did uh, did create a lot more than yeah. that. I just I just think this game could be much more. Mm. This is a great this is a great idea. This game that could be expanded to something even greater. Maybe I'll put it this way. For example, just first the first thing that I would like most is to make it so that you make it a true Metroidvania clone game so you get the abilities in one island and you need to use them in a different one. That would make it really amazing. Mm hmm. Yeah. Anything else you want to add? Um <clears throat> not really. Uh I guess one last question because we were like uh Judging this game, kind of like generally, uh, I'd say, uh, what would you say about it compared to to other Amiga games at the at the time? At the time, uh, I, I don't really remember which uh, when each game was released, but ah, okay, I but, but I generally I think it compares pretty nicely, especially considering the fact that it was made by only two people and. I think that on the graphic side, it is pretty okay, pretty good actually. The main problem. Yeah, I'd is, say so as well. Yeah, the main problem is that there isn't much variation in the style sets. That uh, they keep reusing the same graphics in the in all islands, except the last one, of course. Mm. Yeah, yeah, but then again, it's uh, this game is on uh, two floppies or even one. Yes, two. two on two, right? Yes. And, but on the other hand, uh, the gameplay is, I think, it exceals some of the other titles, some of the commercial titles for Amiga. They really did well with all of the uh, morphing abilities. And the vector transformations is also a nice touch. Yep, that, that, was, that was nice. It it's was... something I, uh, I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't suppose Amiga can handle something like that, but they proved me wrong. <laughs> Right, uh, nothing I want to add. Uh... Okay, so guess that's everything for uh, Odyssey on Amiga. Yep. yep. So thank you everyone for watching. Uh, we will be back with more Perihelion probably. Yes, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a bit too late. It's almost nine p.m. It's dark outside, so I'm not going to play that game at this hour. Sorry, <laughs> we will need uh... to start tomorrow. <laughs> okay, fair enough. You know, some sometime about the middle of the day. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. So thanks again, everyone. Thanks, Alex. It was very fun to record with you. Uh, it was very nice of you to to invite me, and I had a lot of fun. So thank you as well. Yeah. Uh, bye bye, everyone. See you next time. Yep. See you next time. <laughs>